Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc episode number 9. Okay, the previous episode, um, we were in the middle of the fight, uh, Tengen and our group uh, versus Daki and Yutaro. Okay, so <clears throat> the fight kind of broke out into two teams, you know, Tengen and Tanjiro and uh, on the other team was um <coughs> Zenitsu and Inosuke. Zenitsu and Inosuke versus Zaki, while Tengen and um uh, Tanjiro versus Gyutaro. Now even though they kind of broke out the, uh, the two teams to you know like to divide both Daki and Gyutaro, the way they were fighting, it was like you know defending the other person while fighting their own battle. Like it was kind of like you know like like their teamwork was very well done. Like even though they were fighting like you know Daki was fighting on top she was still protecting Yutaro and while Yutaro was still fighting in the um, underneath he was still like you know attacking uh you know like helping in offense uh, Daki, uh helping Daki with offense as well so that was like really uh, like you know like insane the way they fought together and it kind of shows us how like you know them as a team is definitely worthy of the upper uh you know uh, upper uh, Kizuki rank uh and he like they are the sixth one like the lowest of the upper kizuki oh <laughs> yeah that means even like you know even more on top there'll be even more insane people and it's it's just yeah thinking about it it's just uh, insane so like so many people we, we, demons will have to fight who are a lot more stronger than them but anyways enough about that so <clears throat> Yeah, the fighting, the fight was happening, and we get a few little, like you know, flashbacks and stuff. I uh, like, you know, like, like they kind of talk about uh, Tengen's backstory, his brother, you know, how he was like, you know, like in a, in a shinobi clan, which was like dying almost, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, and uh, okay, and then uh, we see Hinatsuru come in, and she kind of helped us out a little bit, even like you know, kind of gathering her last amount of strength used a thing i'm not sure what it is called it's full of kunais and using that as an opportunity tengel striked and he it seems as if he's going to take off gyutaro's head like it's like not he sorry um tanjir is going to take off gyutaro's head uh the sword is very close to it uh but i feel like something's going to happen maybe daki is going to stop the sword somehow or the other gyutaro will be saved uh i'm sure of it because it's too like you know early to end the fight i feel like it, this fight is probably going to go uh, like one or two more episodes so let's see what happens in this episode so yeah without further ado let's get started uh this is episode number uh, uh nine yeah episode number nine of demon Slayer: the entertainment district talk so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go all right here we go <clears throat> yeah he just rushed in cut off his legs and now Tanjiro is going to hmm Okay, but I feel like somehow he's going to be saved. I don't know how, but my bet is on Daki. She's probably going to extend her OB and save, um, you know, save him from that attack. Mm, all right. I think we're almost at almost at the climax of the battle. It'll probably take this episode or this and the next one for the uh, fight to end. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not even sure if this is going to get extended into the next part or something. If that's the case, then it'll probably continue. You know. 
Because as far as I know, this season is going to have 12 episodes, I think. So they should be concluding the fight soon. I don't know. Let's see. Defeating an upper rank demon. Oh, okay. Wait, flashback? <coughs> Whose grave is this? Dad's grave or something? Who's the family grave? Okay, yeah, probably his dad's grave. Hmm. Oh no, it's her siblings. Okay, sorry. <coughs> it's, it's her siblings. Okay. Hmm. Right. Good. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, he left the... Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. He left the... <clears throat> wait, who made the food? Probably Hinatsuru? <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> okay oh boy oh no whoa 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 yeah Oh my god, he okay. The demon ah Oh no Yo This is bad you need Oh wait oh my god Damn oh my god look at that Wow
Okay. Wait. Oh. Ye oh my god. Oh yeah, she attacked them. Oh my god! Okay, wait! Inosuke and they are on top! They, sh they should be... Do we? Oh my god. Okay, come on. You know, scan. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god, Doc is an. Oh my. Yeah, 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 this is a chance, I guess. <clears throat> okay, come on. Oh no, he... I think it's faster to jump up and I don't know. Throw, throw the weapon or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> throw it! <laughs> What? Wait, what happened? What was that? Wait, how how did he do that? Oh, oh, I understood. He used water and fire. Okay. I, it took me a long while to understand what he did. It, it suddenly struck, struck me. Yeah. True. Take the brain down. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, he can be flexible and mix it, blend it, twist it. Oh. Okay, okay. But he has the other side. Thing ends here. Yes, yes. Oh God. <laughs> oh, but I think I don't think it's going to be that easy. Let's see. Even if he lopped his head off, Duck is still alive. So.
ओके राइट जस्ट जम टॉन टॉप ऑफ ओह यस क्विक दिस इज गिविंग इम या वॉट्स हैपन ओके टू मेक श्योर ओ नाइस या ओके <laughs> yes since he's asleep Oh Whoa it got stuck Oh no he oh, hell okay Oh no what the hell is that now Oh my god. Okay? Yeah, this Oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait. What the f- Oh god, Doc is here. My <laughs> Yeah, he's she's so far away. Oh no. difference in Oh my god Okay yeah there you go Wow what Hmm. Okay. Mo. Yo. Okay, you better hide quickly. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah 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 true Oh. Okay. If that helps, you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs>
ओके माय गॉड या गो गो हेड या लाइक ही इज गोइंग टू चार्ज वाइल दे आर गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट हिम सो यस दे गो ओहो यस All right. Yes, they're here. Okay. Oh my God! Look at that animation. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe they can combine water and electricity or something. <laughs> That'll be even more effective. My God! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh no. Yes. Oh my God. I think because of that he'll be able to do it. Oh! Yeah! Just saw it. Oh my god! That that was brutal. But yeah, I I think that was definitely needed. But. <sighs> Jutaro, Jutaro, Jutaro. Oh wait. Oh yeah, he can just grab it and run away. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, the Ob. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Protect him. Protect him. Oh my God. The, the, he's at quite a distance, I think. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not bury it underground or something? <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a good plan. I didn't think about it, you know, like taking the head and running away. <laughs> yeah, I just cut her hair off. <laughs> Obviously. Oh no 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 no! You know, escape. Wait, why is he here? Oh no. Wh where's Tengen? Yeah. Did he defeat him? Oh my god. No. This hat. What the hell is happening? Oh my god. Nezuko's back. Oh my god, what do we do now? Don't end it here. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well. Ah. I, I I don't see any other, how how are, how are, how are they going to survive this? Like Like Sanji already used his, you know, like, power. I doubt his, he can do that. 
Nezuko is sleeping. I doubt he, she can turn back into a demon. <clears throat> Tengen is, like, you know, like, injured. The poison is affecting him heavily. I doubt he can get up. Zenitsu can still fight. Inosuke cannot fight. He has been poisoned. So, the only people who, are, who can fight at this position is Tanjiro, Zenitsu and Hinatsuru. What? And Tanjiro can't even use that, you know, like... Uh, um, Hina, Hinokami Kagura. I doubt he can use that again. I don't know. Like, okay, let me, let's just check the, out the last portion. <clears throat> what? What is happening? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, the thing that I was talking about. Usually in these type of situation, you know, usually there's like um some kind of hidden trump card, you know, the main character usually have saved for these type of situation like when everything's like oh it's going to get over uh, the he, the person the main character activates that trump card and yeah everything kind of becomes okay but Tanjiro and Nezuko both use the trump card now so I'm kind of thinking like how are they going to do this you know like uh, I don't think they can again do that it's kind of impossible so the only one who can probably do something here, it's Zenitsu. Only Zenitsu, I feel like. And maybe Tanjiro at quite an extent, but not that extent. So and and like, oh my god, and Gyutaro's stronger, like he even defeated Tengen, so and Tengen's hand is gone. He can't grow back his hand, he's not a demon. Okay, well. <clears throat> Right, okay, this episode. Oh, okay, the first part, uh, we get a little flashback of Tengen and uh, his wives uh, in front of the family grave, which was, okay, at the beginning, I thought it was like his dad's grave or something. I was like, okay, maybe the dad died or something. But then when he said like, okay, like my siblings, I was like, all right, it, it's not the dad's grave, obviously. It's a, it's a grave for, for the siblings, all the siblings that died, uh, except one of them. So it's for them. <clears throat> okay one information we get here so he actually left the village it, it does make sense because he is like a <coughs> he is like in the demon corpse now so it kind of makes sense that yeah he probably he probably left his village came came here and you know got involved with the demon corpse so all right. Okay. So here we see how Tengen was like, you know, reminiscing about not reminiscing. Sorry. I think this is uh, Hinatsuru's flashback a little bit. Yeah, she was thinking about this thing, um, like how you know, like how Hinatsuru and all of them were talking with Tenzin, and Tenzin was like, yeah, like join me, <laughs> and <laughs> like that flower petal. <laughs> oh boy, and. Yeah, like that was that was funny. That was a cute, <laughs> cute flashback. Uh, all right. Um, then we go back to what's happening. Um, now I thought that yeah, obviously, like it's not that easy to defeat Yutaro. Obviously, it won't be the end. I obviously knew that. But the question was like, how was he going to survive? Well, he just used his blood art, blood demon art, which kind of made like a spiral of blood like you know that sharp blood and so because of that like you know rotation he can just keep his hands there and not even move it and it'll do the job and that was dangerous you know because the the, the, the spiral of blood was he can just like you know 
turn it towards the enemies and it'll just slash everything off so it seemed like uh, Tengen and uh, uh, Tanjir was at pinch over there because they they were proceeding towards Gyutaro and Gyutaro used that and he can just slash them off at that moment so uh, thankfully uh, Tengen kicked Tanjiro away and <clears throat> you know like, was able to counteract that situation uh, he was fighting and obviously Daki is like you know using her obis to just like you know annoy us <laughs> you know like he's fighting her own battle but at the same time like like weird random obis are just attacking us like so yeah there was like a constant annoyance <laughs> up on like you know all the time uh, for our team obviously for them it's good <laughs> so yeah okay then Jutaro goes quickly towards Hinatsu grabs her and tries to kill her and <clears throat> then we get another little flashback and here we actually get to know of their plan Hinatsu says or was it Hinatsu who said the yeah Hinatsu Hinatsu said he said that uh, after we defeat one of the demons upper demons we'll just retreat and live as normal people you know like just live our life normally and that's that's all that was like their dream and that's what they wanted to do and we get we get to see that and that was like Tengen's recollection okay here Tanjiro gets up and okay now here's the thing at the, at the beginning I wasn't un able to understand what the hell happened and then I realized what he did wait a minute so he counteracted the um uh Hinokami Kagura with his uh, water form I think you know like since water and fire they both counteract each other like you know like only using Hinas, uh, Hinokami Kagura it'll it, it's like you know heats his body up it kind of stresses his body out so using water at the same time you know probably counteracted that effect a little bit at least so is that what he did there? Let me check. Okay. Here we go. Use water breathing and Hinokani, Hinokami Kagura in combination. That'll give me more attack power. Okay. Then I'd have just with water breathing. And I'll also be able to move longer than with just Hinokami Kagura. Uh, yeah, there you go yeah it makes sense like you know that's what he did i don't know why it took me that amount of time to actually understand what he did but it, it, it is like a very intelligent way of using his um you know power since he can use both fire and water and since the fire actually you know, harms his own body why not uh, mitigate that effect using water you know like he it'll become stronger because you know to, like, he's, he's using water breathing and hinokami kagura uh, it'll be, become stronger and at the same time the water can you know like help him and d protect him uh, from the adverse effects of Hinokami Kagura unless and until he gets accustomed to it so wait so I think he can use this normally correct me if I'm wrong like just like how there was like a time limit and like a, you know you know limit that he could use Hinokami Kagura I think he can use this normally this you know this way of fighting normally and without having much like, you know stress on the body he's obviously going to get a little bit of you know damage cause a little bit of damage to his body because even if he's using water breathing um <clears throat> you know kamikagura still puts a stress on his body so that's going to still remain but it'll be a lot lesser than when he used you know kamikagura all on its own so it's something like that i guess so yeah like that i i don't know why i never thought of that like you know use fire and water uh, together at the same time if fire actually like you know uh affects you badly just use water with it <laughs> okay good that that was that was interesting mm, and he he talks about how like you know different people are, are like flexible they use their uh breathing techniques differently and that's why many different uh, breathing techniques kind of branched out you know just like um like shinobu's breathing technique which is i think it's like a, a poison one i think I, I don't remember its actual name i forgot the name but it's like like she uses poison so it's also a branch of some other like you know thing like i'm i'm, I'm pretty like and I'm, I'm pretty sure that like it, it the breathing probably started with a few 
you know like two or three uh, no sorry uh, what am i even saying everything started from the sun breathing yeah they already said that like okay so yeah like everything branched like everything started from the sun breathing and people started using like you know because obviously people cannot use the sun breathing it it takes a lot of like you know effort and you know um like it, it probably is very um, <clears throat> like difficult to use it that's why they started making minor you know like adjustments to it and uh, started using different breathing techniques like uh, and it started branching off from the sun breathing and went into a lot of different branches out of which one like obviously water breathing was one and uh, you know sound and what else like you know like beast and all these things lightning all these things that kind of branched off and uh, yeah now we have so many techniques so use whatever you're comfortable with that's basically it you know like if, if you are not comfortable with your weapon which is obviously the techniques here if you're not comfortable with your weapon how are you going to fight and that's what people did they made minor modifications additions subtractions from the different breathing techniques and made it according like you know like it's just for their use you know for their convenience how they can like you know how they can properly use it and that's why they have so many different breathing techniques, I think. And Tanjiro is going to do something like that. So he's going to combine Hinokamikagura alongside uh, water breathing, which will probably make like a new technique, you know, a new way of like, you know, fighting, uh, which will be like his own fighting technique, own way of doing stuff. So yeah, like be flexible. And uh, that was good. <clears throat> okay, and all right so then they start fighting and uh again and they were almost going to get yutaro's head and then we shift back to daki's part where daki is fighting uh against you know and uh, uh zenitsu now <laughs> obviously like zenitsu is very what can i say proactive here you know he's sleeping he's just you know just giving orders and like an instruction he's like oh do it like this do it like that um <laughs> my god <laughs> okay so <laughs> and you know sky like like damn like maybe maybe you're pretty you're pretty cool aren't you <laughs> like what did he say like look at you um damn you're really something <laughs> else <laughs> okay never mind <clears throat> all right and their like plan was like just cut off the head even if the other like you know team is still unable to cut off their head we cut it off you know and you know just wait for the other team to cut off that head Gyutaro's head as well so that was like their plan and what Gyutaro did was obviously use his hands to just stop the um two the, the two swords that were coming at his head and you know they they also had to like you know protect uh, Hinatsuru at that moment since she was all exposed to danger and uh, <clears throat> you know like Zenitsu and Inosuke comes in they also start protecting and Daki's Obis are also kind of like you know attacking us Tengen starts fighting uh, Yutaro on his own and like you know like I think they came up with uh, I think uh, Zenitsu said that didn't he yeah like he said that uh, we are going to all of us all three of us attack and defeat Daki first so that after that we can join um, Tengen and fight Yutaro which is kind of uh, what can I say a risky move but it was better than the way they were fighting actually because uh, why I'm saying it's a risky move is because even if they take off Daki's head you know like um, and Tengen is unable to uh, take off uh, Yutaro's head within that time um, what are they going to do like Daki's head is going to regenerate which I like you know Zenith, uh, Inosuke made a very good <clears throat> like you know came up with a very good plan how to counteract that but it did not work by the end of it so that's why it was risky because you know Tengen is all alone Tengen and Tanjiro fighting Yutaro was still difficult and while he's alone like he and he's like you know his Poison is going through his body. It, 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 like he has to hold down uh, uh, Yutaro while Tanjiro, uh, Inosuke, and um, Zenitsu fight Zaki. 
but it's better uh, it's a better like you know like plan because they can quickly defeat daki and that's what they were trying to do they were trying to quickly defeat daki so that they can put all their effort in defeating yutaro but it was risky because tengen was like poisoned and I, who knows how much time he would be able to uh you know stop yutaro and i guess and uh, yeah that's what it happened by the end of it he wasn't able to and okay so all right so here's that what the plan that they came up with you know is going to charge because you know like he has two weapons and he can slash and uh tanjiro and zenitsu is going to protect him nice plan easy plan um like you know like so <laughs> they do that and i my god like the animation was brilliant here <laughs> like the way they did it i guess in some insane animations and when uh, uh, inosuke went and cut oh my god that scene <laughs> cut daki's head off um yeah that was a very brutal way now i feel like <laughs> i don't know what it was in the manga but i feel like they probably did not show us that scene in the anime i might be wrong you know, I might be wrong though, but I feel, I don't know, I, I feel like the manga will probably show this, like, you know, whole gory scene. Because, you know, like, the, when he was doing that, they were not showing what Tanjiro, uh, uh, Inosuke was doing. It was, they were only showing, like, you know, making us hear the sound and the movement, you know, of him kind of sawing off. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like the manga probably just showed that. And since it was too gory, they, they probably like skipped, like, you know, they, not skipped, but used it, like, you know, kind of did it in this way. I might be completely wrong, though, because I've seen, like, you know, like, anime, mangas kind of doing this, uh, not manga, sorry, animes kind of doing this, you know, whenever there's, like, an uh, in, in, intense, like, gory scene or something, which even with censor, like, you know, uh, like, you know, even if they're censored, it's still gory and kind of, like, you know... <laughs> they kind of do this you know they kind of show us a perspective which is not that uh, you know gory while they still show us the scene they show us a different perspective of it while in the manga it's all just there <laughs> i've seen a few manga do that i don't know if this is the same with this scene or not but it wouldn't surprise me if it was like that <laughs> but anyways um yeah even like you know we, we, I, I i could imagine that you know like i could imagine what was happening and it it was not a it was it was <laughs> it was not a good very um you know like comfortable s scene like he he just saw off his of uh daki's head you know like and it, it was perfect because his sword was just kind of meant for that you know like the little like you know protrusions that his sword had it was just perfect for it and damn like that 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 i i was not expecting that <laughs> like when he was sawing you know like there's like one scene when we were seeing that inosuke was sawing and they were not showing daki and then they were showing daki's head only upper part not his ne not her neck <coughs> and there was like this little movement her head was going through and you could imagine what was happening underneath it which which they were not showing us like my god ah like if you've seen if 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 you've seen in your life if you've seen like you know like a saw cutting a tree you could probably imagine what actually happened there my god that that was that was like that was like a really i have to say like that was like an insane scene and i think they probably like handled it perfectly you know they did not show us the gory part but they still kind of showed us and made us imagine what happened <laughs> but yeah he that that was like the most surprising part of this episode i have to say i was not expecting inosuke just doing that and uh yeah like i think that was the best way to actually defeat taki at that moment so <clears throat> he saws off her head and then here inosuke comes up with a great plan which i don't know why i never thought about it <laughs> but it was a good one he grabbed the head and started running <laughs> It, I think it would have been better if he somehow was able to run away, but he wasn't able to, you know, because Gyutaro came in. Um, if he was somehow able to run away and, you know, like just bury the head underground or something. <laughs> and, you know, like bury the head underground and just sit on top of that part or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, mm, unfortunately, that's not how it went. The plan was good, a good plan. 
you know like he keeps running away with the head unless and until tanjiro and uh, uh zen uh, zenitsu uh, alongside tengen deals with gyutaro and when they deal with gyutaro when his head is also cut off yeah everything will end unfortunately this would have worked if tengen wasn't de already defeated we did not know that we thought that tengen and tengen is still fighting but as soon as this happened yutaro came in and just stabbed not stabbed yeah backstabbed um inosuke um now i don't know like i feel like the wound is let me see i don't think it it took his just a sec okay um i don't know is that his vitals it's on the left side i f i don't think it it got his vital spot but it, it kind of like you know just oh my god went through him even if it missed his vital spots um there's poison in it i don't know what the hell is going to happen now oh my god yeah this is a bad thing like like i don't know i don't know what's going to happen like you know he is pretty injured and i think he needs medical attention as soon as possible so if we need to do like if we need medical attention as soon as possible we need to end this fight as soon as possible as well but i don't see that happening so unless and until reinforcement comes I don't see how they're going to survive this. Like, what is, like, what, what can they even do in this situation? And yeah, and then they realize that uh, Tengen has already been defeated. One of his hands has gone. My God. Oh, and I don't think he's dead, but he's probably suffering from the poison. That's probably what happened. I doubt he's dead. I don't think he's dead. But he's, he's like you know like we can see that patch of like purplish who on his like you know uh, body which shows that yeah he's he's probably just paralyzed and unable to move or just unconscious because of the poison and him losing a lot of blood because his head got chopped off and yeah and then like you know like the zenitsu kind of uh saves you know uh, not you know okay sorry saves tanjiro nezuko's like you know that that thing the the box is also kind of falling down and yeah we don't know what's going to happen now this is a bad bad situation so yeah i'm i don't see any way like you know i don't i i cannot envision how they're going to survive this thing you know like it's like it, I, I doubt they can do anything unless and until something very weird or miraculous or something like that episode where Tanjiro unlocked his like you know that power and Nezuko became a demon unless and until something of that scale happens I don't see them winning this thing so usually like you know in these type of situations these type of cliffhanger situations I can kind of like you know in most of the uh, uh, instances I can kind of think about like you know what yeah this is the way they can survive this is the way they can you know be safe and not get killed usually there are there are paths that we can see but here i don't see any i i really don't see any like how how are they going to survive this like like everyone's just defeated and and guitar is fine like he's he, he even he even took daki's head now now obviously he's going to attach the head to her body and yeah everything will be fine like they will be uninjured and we are like this so yeah this this is insane unless i think something very very like you know like very surprising or miraculous happens which is impossible yeah let's see and i i don't know i think probably zen is good it's going to do something the next episode we'll see you know we'll we'll have to wait for that so that's it so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh demon slayer the entertainment district arc episode number nine so yeah this is um uh, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it 
and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching so yeah this episode um yeah this this was this was definitely a good episode it had a few flashbacks a few action parts and everything we got more of uh tengen's background a little bit more of them and we even saw how tanjiro can use his two techniques to blend them mix them and use it to his advantage we saw inosuke kind of like you know getting in into the fight and doing the deed cutting off uh daki's head and uh and then everything kind of went downhill like inosuke got stabbed tengen is on the floor uh, we don't even know where hinasu hinasu is probably still in hiding or did she come out what happened in the end uh i think she's still in hiding yeah and like everything's just going downhill so i really hope inosuke is okay i really hope that because i like you know like my uh what can i say like i'm more concerned of inosuke than tengen because i feel like tengen is basically kind of passed out because of the poison or something like that it is still like you know life-threatening but we we just saw inosuke getting stabbed i'm, I'm more concerned about him now than tengen i don't know why but i feel like tengen might be able to survive that but inosuke I'm, i i don't know i don't know what's going to happen with inosuke so that's i'm, I'm kind of concerned about that but yeah anyways uh next week uh we'll have to see so yeah guys uh i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer the entertainment district arc so until then goodbye and have a nice day